Hi there. My challenge for today was to say it out loud and make it happen. So what I said out loud when I woke up this morning was I'm going to do a painting, a big old painting, from beginning to end. So I'm sure going to try to make that happen. So I'm going to run and get comfortable. I'm taking it back to the 70s and I'll see you in a minute. Let's have some fun in color. told you I was taking it back to the 70s. You know I love color. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to completely cover the area around my easel because I just got the carpet clean. And I'm going to get me a bucket of water and I'm going to prime my canvas with white gesso so that my paint will adhere to it nicely and I won't be using up so much paint because it won't be soaking into the canvas. Okay, so you might notice that I'm starting to look a little different as the minutes go by. I have to keep it real with you. It's hot. The thermostat says it's uh, 90 degrees in here. The air conditioner and a fan is going. But that's the price to pay to live in the East Bay, I guess. So what I've done is I've mixed some colors. And what they are is cerulean blue, cobalt blue, sky blue, and white. If you could see that. And these things come in handy. This is just one of those little $2 numbers, like $2 for three of them or something. And the store of the little plastic disposable containers and they come in handy for me. I'm not good with cleaning up stuff. I much prefer to throw it away. But I keep pallets, but stuff like this I just chunk it at the end of the day, especially when I'm working on, you know, a big piece. So I didn't mix oops. Can you see me now? Can you see me now? Okay. So I didn't mix the colors because I don't like to mix my colors all together. I think I get more of an interesting look by just dipping into them and playing along, you know, and seeing what comes of it. So right now I'm going to start painting in my sky. So I'm just going to take my colors. As you can see, I got a couple of colors in here, and most art teachers would probably die if they saw me doing that kind of stuff. But You'll see what it comes out like in the end. I've done this a million times. That's the only way I really know it's going to work. So I'm going to get the sky in. And before I put the pink highlights in the sky, I'm going to come back. So let me finish the sky. What this is, is it's canvas gel medium. And what this does is it allows the acrylic to glide and also uh, depending on what you're doing and what kind of brush you're using, it could give it like an oil painting texture. This, and I'm going to pick up magenta and white on my brush. Can you see that? So now i got the three things on my brush. So now I'm just going to go across certain areas of the sky to give it that pink tinge that we like to see in the sky sometimes. So now that I've done that, I'm going to put this to the side and I'm going to pick up the brush I was using the blues on because it's a little dried out now and I'm going to just smooth the edges out. So there's my sky. I'm going to let that set for a minute and then I'm going to start on the next phase of this painting. Okay, so next I have a new color palette and what I have here is silver gray. I have violet, raw umber, okra, white, and black, Mars black. And what I've done is I've painted the bottom portion, the part that I didn't cover with the blue, in gold. And I did that because I'm a person that likes background and texture and layers and layers. Um, as you could probably tell, I just like color. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut in some rocks now, because um, I decided, nature, maybe a diva later, but nature. 
So sky, tree, water, rocks. That's what I'm working with there. So I'm going to cut in some rocks. And I got all these different colors because no two rocks are ever alike. And so I'm just going to play with them and make them all different shades. And usually, once I get one in, I'll just go on and work with that. And then top it off later or tone it down or whatever. So I think I actually want my rocks. Hmm. What do you guys think? I think I'm going to put them over here. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to take this palette knife, I believe it's called, um, and just cut in the outline. And then I'm going to go in and paint. This usually works better with oil paints. I am using acrylic paints here, by the way. Um, either heavy bodied or just a little heavier than the kind that you pour out of the bottle. But so these come in twos. Actually, the brand is Galleria, I think it's called, and I love that brand because they mm -hmm. lots of colors, not expensive, and easy to work with. So I'm just going to show you a couple, and I, I just cut rocks in where I want them. So I say I want one there, maybe a big one there, over there. This is brown. It's actually brown, raw umber. So, and this is what I, what I do to get an idea of what I want to do with the rock. So we're going to get up, because we're probably going to situate our diva up on some rocks. I'm using a fat brush. Uh, <laughs> that was bad, huh? Well, it's a one inch brush. And I use the ones with the comfort grip, especially for our canvas this side. Believe me, they're a lifesaver. And so now I'm just taking my brush and I'm going to start with it just a little dry. That's how I get a lot of the texture in too. And then I'll just start mixing the colors that make me comfortable and start filling in spots. And there's my rocks. And you'll see when I'm all done with this what it looks like. But that's what I do. I fill in the spots with other colors. I've done all of my paintings this way. And it always works out. So I'm going to finish that. And we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so what I've got here is I've got the rocks done. Um, might add a little more shadow later, depending on how the rest of the painting comes out. I got the sand done, the water. I'm going to put some iridescent uh, paint in the sky to give it like a glow off the water. And I'm going to start and put a couple of trees in and see how that turns out. And there you have the finished painting. I'm going to call it Summer Celebration. Phew. It's midnight. I completed my challenge. Well, it's a little after midnight and I finished the challenge. I challenged myself to do a complete painting and I did that. I think it's 30 by 40 or something like that it's big and uh, hmm, lessons I learned I'll start earlier next time I had a whole bunch of fun though and um, I'm gonna put a list of all the colors I used on here and thanks for playing along it was a lot of fun I love giving myself personal challenges I always have and especially when I make them happen and so this one did happen it took me a day and not even really a day because I kind of goofed off a little bit today and then I ran out of white titanium white paint and I had to run out and get some paint and that kind of stuff and then got sidetracked while I was out there of course so not really a full day but it took a while so um, I hope you like it and uh, again, if you like the video, please comment and or rate it. I'd greatly appreciate it. And thanks for viewing. And as always, thanks for playing along. Happy journey and dream in color. Peace.